There you are, Michael! <laughs> Good job, Michael! We are out here getting filmed for work. <laughs> Shout out to the company I work for, Merit Medical, for sponsoring my running. Well, we just finished the filming, but now it's time for the usual three by mile pre-race marathon. Should be pretty chill, shooting for like five tens probably. At this point, I'm really not gaining any fitness. The purpose of this workout is just to feel out marathon pace, loosen the legs up, but really the only thing I can do wrong is do too much. Hayes in the barn, as they say. But no, three by mile, I averaged about 507 on them. Running the marathon pace I think I'm capable of, not what I'm going to do. Legs are feeling good? Uh, those workouts are always harder than I think they're gonna be, but I was, to be fair, in an overwhelm. <laughs> Finally off work before the race. Something really relieving about getting off work for the final time before your trip. I've got my morning flight heading off to New York. Donut. Welcome to New York. We're already stuck in traffic. I mean, this is crazy. Look at this. People are just driving on the medians. It's not a lane, people. What is going on? Oh my gosh, there's another one. Look. Getting in my first run in New York. I'm at my brother's house. It's really dark. It's not an exact science, but it's kind of an exact science. Okay, this is where it's a little bit janky. <laughs> I just use masking tape because you can tear the masking tape pretty easily, so. Yeah, like that. And while I'm finishing up these bottles, I just want to take a second to explain what I'm doing here. I'm filling most of these bottles with the highly caloric drink mix, and then a couple with an electrolyte mix. And finally, taping a few gels to my bottles. When running a marathon, you don't just need to stay hydrated, but you also need to take in a lot of calories. When executed correctly, this will prevent running out of carbohydrate stores and hitting the wall. Okay, I'm all done. This is my lineup of fueling. Haven't completely decided on the order yet, but we've got Martin in the first three, every other one has a gel attached, and I put a couple Gatorade bottles just to get some electrolytes and help wash that down. <laughs> hey, this is my brother Tyler. He is a certified and practicing chiropractor. Yes, he is nice enough to do a quick adjustment for me, a former. Wait for us. Well, I'm going to take it easy. Perfect. Our goal is to balance out the nervous system, not to just kind of twist and crack things. As you are laying there, I can actually see that left side, left side joint is higher, the left hip. Good. Awesome. How's that? Oh, good. What's up? We are here at the course and right at the start of this uh, little shake out of the course, I totally ate it. So I got a nice little scraped up hand. That's nice. A little scrape on the leg. So I'm actually pretty happy about it because it means that I already got my bad luck out of the way. So tomorrow can only be good. So good things to come. Until finally at 6.45 the next day, it was go time. The start of every marathon is pretty boring. You come in fully tapered and ready to roll just to start at a slow pace. These first four laps or so, I just did my best to stay out of trouble and comfortably in the OTQ group. My other big focus was to get down as much of my bottles as possible. It's better to get the calories in earlier than later. By the end of the sixth lap, things started to roll and I was feeling really good. Unfortunately, that's about when things started going downhill. Those notorious calf cramps started before the end of the seventh lap and I was forced to slow down and hope to manage them as best I could. Thankfully, my calves never fully seized up and I was able to finish with a time of two hours, 18 minutes, and 55 seconds.
I can't really pinpoint anything that I did wrong. I executed training, pacing, and fueling almost perfectly. And sometimes that's just still not enough. Just saying the positives, I actually finished this marathon, thank goodness. So I have a lot to be proud of. Almost five minute PR. And I didn't fully cramp, <laughs> I didn't stop. But boy, did I come close. I started cramping around 20, 21, spasming pretty good. And uh, I had a couple of 540s in there and thought I was gonna drop out, but some prayers were answered because it went away and I got back on pace the last lap, but it just wasn't quite enough. Really proud and really disappointed. Two words for me. Now I'm really cold. <laughs> <laughs> We got close, we got really close. But as sad as I am and disappointed I am in missing my main goal, it was still a huge step in the right direction. With that said, you can expect me to be running CIM in just a handful of weeks as my last and final attempt to get that OTQ. Thanks again so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and if you did, take a second um, and subscribe if you're not already. I really appreciate it.